Hi, my name is Alex Jodmeyer, and I'm one of the co-founders and the events director for the Metro Trans Umbrella Group. Today, y'all can't see my hands. Normally, there would be a whole lot of hand action. I talk with my hands a lot. So. <laughs> Um, today I'm going to be teaching some techniques. Um, for those of you who don't know me personally, I'm also a drag king. Um, my stage name is Puck Rogers, queer of the 25th century. <laughs> I, perform, I perform at the Gray Fox Theater, or the Gray Fox Pub, on Mondays and Tuesdays from time to time. So uh, Sayer and I came up with the idea of using contouring techniques with makeup to help non-binary and transmasculine people help their face look more masculine. Um, and so we're gonna go through a little tutorial, me and you. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Through the magic of mirrors, here we go. Doodle, 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 doodle. <gasps> so, <laughs> the first product, this is my face with nothing on it. Just the way I was, okay, I was gonna say the way I was born this way, but okay. Um, so the first product that like is an absolute must for me is addressing these Poor eyebrows of mine. They are scant, they are sad, they are wanting of more. And I'm so jealous of some of my friends who have these amazing, like even before tea, they have these amazing, like prominent uh, eyebrows, and I just, I don't. So my first product that I'm gonna recommend is, um, it's a pro, it's called, it's that. The benefit, <laughs> okay. The name of the brand is called Benefit. And they make so many fantastic things that are meant specifically for your eyebrows. And I know that like some of these uh, trans masks or maybe non-binary humans are like, ew, makeup, that's for girls. Oh, no, that's not how a trans mask person, wait, let me try it. Oh, makeup, that's for girls. And I'd be like, no, brah, like go on down to Sephora. I know, oh, it's a makeup store. I'm not going in there. No, really. There's so many people that work at Sephora, especially the Galleria location, that are super affirming, queer, they have trans like employees who are just really friendly and eager to help you. So I, I would really, you know, maybe tell you to get over yourself and go in and like ask for help. So Benefit is the brand that I'm gonna start talking about. So this is, um, they call it a fiber gel, a brow fiber gel, but I just call it brow mascara. It comes in like, I think 12 different colors. So you can literally get the color to match whatever color you got going on up here. I mean, okay, they don't make it in blue and green and I know a lot of our friends are rocking the pastels in their hair right now, but they only make it in like natural tones. So uh, let's get started. Let's beef up my sad, pathetic little, um, little brows. So I go through and Start applying, making things thicker, making things bushier. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm also a professional artist. And so, um, you know, doing makeup is for me just like painting my face. And a lot of the techniques that I use in drag are the same techniques that I use for contouring my face just like in the day. And uh, <laughs> a lot of my friends, we call it going out in public, it's our day drag. So it's just like, you know, not quite as severe as the makeup that I would wear on stage for like an actual performance when people are throwing dollar bills at me and going, oh, Puck Rogers, you're so sexy. Oh my God, please take my money. I think I'm hilarious. Okay, so we've got some brow going on. Now, like I mentioned, because my brows are so sad, I kind of help those brothers and I go into like a slightly upward motion because step two, now that we've got this, is Benefit makes these products. There's a fat daddy and a little daddy. The little daddy is for drawing individual hairs. The fat daddy is like basically like a big old crayon that helps you fill in a whole bunch all at once. And that's where I come in and like with soft stroking motions <laughs> um, help emphasize my art because expression is important for me as a person if you've ever met me. So now the eyebrows have arrived. They are in the party made again. Don't go crazy. Now I know, see like, as I mentioned, I have this one friend, his name is Ryan Klinghammer, 
And like I mentioned, a lot of my friends, they have these just like fantastic, bushy, thick eyebrows. And I would recommend to you, maybe a little pair of, um, I'm not picking on like people with bushy eyebrows, I'm saying I'm jealous, but maybe trim those, like brush them up and then follow your like natural line and like trim those brothers and uh, help them, you know, be a little bit more sophisticated. And like, you know, go a little bit like this. So, you know, some people need uh, maybe a little trim with the eyebrows. Some people need a little bit more emphasis. Uh, me, I wish I had some. So we're about done in the brow department. I'm feeling pretty good about this game so far. Uh, all right. I'm starting to look like a human. Fantastic. Okay, next trick. So, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm 41. With 41 comes purple bags under your eyes. I've already taken the time to uh, use a uh, cover-up stick, and it's not hard. Just like go in the store and like try it on your arm and find one that matches your skin tone. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, ask for help. They make you know concealer sticks in literally every single shade. Lart, lart, <laughs> light all the way to dark. So um, I've already taken the liberty of using this and going under my under eye because these these are purple, unfortunately, normally, and uh, getting rid of some of the redness around my nose. And you know, I had a little pimple because you know we're all humans and we're not made of plastic and perfect. Okay, next technique. In my opinion, besides the brow, the most important technique is contouring. It's what you all came for. Ready? Drum roll, please. There's a difference between bronzer and a contour stick. They're not the same. Bronzers have shimmer. We don't want shimmer. I mean, if you want shimmer, that's good for you. That's a personal choice, but I don't want the shimmer. So the way to find the color that really works for your skin tone, you want it to look like a shadow. You don't want it to look like orange. So. Take your hand and hold it over your arm. The color that is created on your arm is like a shadow. So try to find a contour stick that's in that family. Also, as I may remind you, the people at Sephora are amazing. They'll help you find that color. Okay, here we go. So men, I'll say cis men, or some very beautiful trans men, have these uh, just cut you like glass jaw bones and cheekbones and they're so chiseled and I just I have soft cheeks and and so to help come in we're going to emphasize that cheek um that cheekbone and you create kind of like this upside down L and then under your jaw too to make that jawline really pop and then something that I like to do just because it makes me happy is on the sides of the nose because men's faces uh, stereotypically have like a very strong nose and then I also do in my little cupid's bow. So then I come in and I start blending and I like to use my fingers. Um, I have friends who like to use you know beauty blenders. I'm a very tactile kind of person and I have years of experience doing this. So I do it pretty fast. You don't have, it's not an exact science. Really, you're just trying to get things to a point where you can't see the lines and it looks more like a suggestion. So it really does look like, you know, like, oh, look at that person. All right. So later tonight, uh, me and a bunch of my friends from the drag community are going to be in the drag show. It starts at 10 p.m. Um, and I'm super excited about the lineup. And then later tonight, uh, my friend Ji Wu, who won the Best in Show at the MTUG Art Show, which I'm the curator for, um, Ji Wu won Best in Show and they'll be doing a live painting um, from 8 to 12.30 later on tonight. So, okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, last thing I would do is come in with a little bit of that concealer and make that part of the nose just 
top a little bit to make that bridge really pronounced and square looking. And then um, maybe give a little bit of a highlight on the top. But yeah, I feel good about this. How do I look? I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this. I know I talk fast. You can just watch me um, rewind and just play me at slow motion. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you so much. And stay tuned and please donate. We can't do this without you. Just stretch. No, OK. Um, <laughs> well, since I have a little time, you know what that means? Step two of the process is I was going to talk about some of the techniques that I use for drag, um, which is what we refer to as alien lines, is helping that forehead to look more square. Because um, masculine foreheads are kind of like angled here and then very flat and square here. So we're gonna turn around and I'm gonna, ref what we call, <laughs> <laughs> we call them alien lines in the business. So starting from like what the corner of your eyebrow of your forehead and going to the highest part of your arch and then taking that contour color and going from that line kind of on the sides above your eyebrows so that whenever you blend you're creating this shadow it gives the illusion of a square forehead. So see, I've created shadow here, and shadow here, angles. Okay, next thing I like to do is um, pop up the edges, the corners of my eyes. This helps to balance how much you got going on in the eyebrow department with um, drawing attention to your eyes. You don't want it too dark, you don't want it to start looking like you know, I mean, unless you're emo, still rocking the goth. I'm there for you. I support. But maybe a little more au natural is just to put a little touch in it, a little, a little bit. And then something else I like to do um, is, okay, so secret. Don't go telling people, I'm going gray. This is all fake. It's true. I'm just, okay. So one of the things that I like to do is take that brow color and help my roots look a little bit more defined um, it helps square up those corners and so I'll come in like at the bottom of what I wish were you know James Dean's sideburns and square them up gently for everything I use a very soft touch for me painting my face isn't so different than you know painting on an easel all right Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I'll see you later on tonight. <laughs>